Hi guys, it's Lemelsy here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am sharing another part to my renovating base game series, but also it's going to be the final part to my seven days of base game mini series that I have been doing throughout this whole past week to celebrate The Sims 4 base game becoming free. So if you guys do not own The Sims 4 yet, you can now get it for completely free, which is very exciting. And I just really wanted to do something to celebrate it. So this whole week I've had various different builds, uh, a lot of different renovations, and then a few original builds, and even some community lots mixed in as well. So I've had a lot of fun with it and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. I will have them linked in the description box. So you guys can find any of them really easily. And yeah, today, as you may notice from the title, or maybe you recognize the build, I am renovating the Caliente's home, which is one that I have wanted to renovate for such a long time. But honestly, I have been so lost with what to do with this build because it's it's a big house and it's an awkward house. I feel like the shape of it and some of the like details just looks a bit unfinished and awkward and imbalanced and I don't know. I just really had no idea where to even begin with this house, but I knew I wanted to like really make it over and make it um, well, not completely different. I still wanted it to somewhat resemble the original house, and I think it does. The main thing that I did was on the front of the house, I completely got rid of that front balcony just because I felt like it looked so awkward, and I don't know if it was the balcony itself or like the roof line. I think it was mostly the roof line, and I really didn't know how to fix it, so I decided just to get rid of the balcony entirely, and I think that was the best choice because I think the front of the house actually looks really appealing now. I think it actually has some like curb appeal, which is what I wanted to give it. And it still has that same like grand presence that it did originally, because this is like a huge house and the walls are very tall and it's just, it's a big house. And I really just wanted it to feel um, like stately and kind of fancy too, because I feel like this is like a gated community. I don't think it necessarily is, but in my mind, I feel like this is a gated community that's on like a golf course with like these beautiful lakes like intertwined and this is a desert world so having an area this green would require a lot of water which would be very expensive and so I feel like any sims that live in this area are going to be quite wealthy and so I want the homes to resemble that as well so that's why I tried to do with this house I tried to make it feel uh, fancy and also just give it a major like lift when it came to the interior decorating because the interior decorating I felt like was kind of confusing there was lots of different colors there was like a giraffe statue in the dining room and I don't know why that was there. I felt like that was kind of uh, weird. I don't know. I just, I didn't even notice it because I just immediately started deleting things. And when I went to go take the before screenshots, I was like, oh, there's a giraffe in the dining room. And I had no idea why, but um, basically, yeah, I just felt like there was a lot of different colors and patterns and it felt like the floor plan just didn't really flow together as much as I wanted it to. So those were the main things that I all wanted to fix. And another thing that I wanted to fix was Don Lothario's bedroom. So so he's currently supposed to be dating the mom of the house, I believe. That's what like their bio suggests. But he lives in the back of the house in like this tiny little like makeshift bedroom that's like like a closed in part of the porch and i wanted him to have a proper bedroom and i feel like he probably does date the mother but he also tries to see the daughters as well and probably anybody else in town that he possibly can and so um yeah I, if this lot would have been bigger i probably would have tried to make like a pool house or something and i think that's kind of the idea they were trying to give by having him have that extra room at the back uh, but I don't know, it just felt like it was, I don't know, more awkward than anything. And I just didn't really like it. So if this would have been a bigger lot, I think a pool house would have been pretty cool because then you could pretend that he was the pool boy and he like fools around with the mom and maybe even the daughters know it, but then he fools around with the daughters too. And I feel like that could cause a lot of drama and it would be very interesting for gameplay. And I even considered having him and the mom share a room but I decided to give her her own room and turn it into like an actual like master suite basically. So I turned that front area that used to be the front balcony into an ensuite bathroom. And I think it feels like a true master's now. And before I was kind of even confused if it was the master bedroom. I think it was because it had access to that balcony. So it kind of made it feel more that way. And I think the other two rooms may have had some more youthful looking decorations. I don't know, this house was kind of hard for me to tell exactly whose room was what, um, but I think, I think I got it right. So I think the blue room 
was uh, Dina's room and then Nina's was the red room. And I have their wiki pulled up, so hopefully I don't get anything wrong, but uh, yeah, I, I realize that I'm not that familiar with this family. I went to go do this voiceover without pulling up their wiki and I was just getting way confused about who I was talking about, but I decided to turn Nina, uh, Dina's room into a pink room and I don't really know why I did this. I just see her being as more of the innocent girly one and so I guess just like a soft pink room kind of represented that for me. But once I was taking the before and afters, I kind of wish I would have kept with the blue color scheme. But of course, if you guys decide to download this, it would be easy to change up the color scheme and just turn it from blue to, or from pink to blue. So I think it would be an easy fix. And then Nina's room, I believe was the red one and I kept it red and I think that suits her because of her red hair. I mean, not necessarily that you should match your interior decor to your hair color, but I feel like red suits her and I feel like she's probably pretty like fiery and um, I just think the red kind of suits her personality. So I thought that was pretty fun. Here you can see at the back of the build, I completely redid the back balcony and the back porch area. I was actually looking at the house next door for inspiration because I liked the way the balcony looked over there. And so I kind of mimicked it a little bit and added the lower porch area too. Another thing that I did was I included these bushes. Instead of putting the fence like surrounding the entire backyard, I didn't want it to feel so closed off. So the hedges kind of made it more open to me because I really feel like a big draw to this community would be like the greenery and the lakes and stuff. So you'd want like a view of it. And so I thought that that was kind of necessary and I really wanted to have it more open to the surrounding area. So that's why I did it that way. And I also added a swimming pool back here and of course some landscaping. The landscaping is pretty simple, but I think it matches the world. And I tried to just make it feel um, just kind of more natural and organic looking to the more desert environment. But of course it still has like the green grass and stuff. Here I'm adding some lounge chairs at the um, side of the pool. And I do keep it pretty simply decorated. Something that I've been trying to continue with this whole series is doing more simply decorated builds. So trying to minimize the clutter, minimize the extra decorations and keep them more like player friendly basically. And so, yeah, I guess more an EA style is what I've been trying to do. And I'm really happy with it. I think these builds actually end up looking really nice and they don't feel empty necessarily. To me, they feel fully decorated, but of course it'd be easy to go through and add extra like clutter and personal details as you play in the build. Here, I really wanted to use these turtle decorations for swimming pools, but I don't know, they didn't come in a color that I wanted to use and I felt like they just looked a little bit awkward. So I'm definitely going to have to try them again in like a different build because maybe I'll find another one that they suit a little bit better. And then there I just added a chimney and I got rid of that little like faux balcony and added a planter box instead. And yeah, I'm completely obsessed with the way this house looks. I think it looks so good. I'm really, really happy with it because honestly, this is one that I have wanted to renovate for such a long time and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. So I'm hoping that you guys have liked it too. So far, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of it as well. But here we're moving on to the interior. So the first area that I decorate is going to be this entryway. The entryway is very grand. It's of course the original entryway. I left the downstairs floor plan pretty much the same. I just added like uh, some archways to open it up. And of course I got rid of Don Lothario's bedroom down here, but the upstairs, like floor plan is very different than it was originally. So the before and after screenshots were quite tricky to take. And so, um, yeah, it was kind of challenging, but I think I made it work and hopefully it's not confusing when you guys are going through them. But over here is going to be the dining room. It's of course where the dining room was originally. And I decided to add these chairs because they are quite modern in a very traditional house. And I wanted to have some like modern touches, but I still wanted it to feel like a very traditional home. So more traditional counters and a lot of like traditional elements, but some modern furniture pieces. So I tried to just kind of mix it up that way. And then over here is going to be the kitchen. The kitchen before it wasn't open to the dining room. So it felt kind of like like uh, closed off from the rest of the house. And I didn't really like that. So I decided to add the archways and just open it up to the hallways and to the dining room. And I think for me, that makes a lot more sense. And yeah, it's completely different than the kitchen was originally. But for me, I think it looks so much better. And I love the dark counters with the dark countertops. I think it suits the build really nicely. And yeah, I really liked using these appliances as well. I've definitely used these appliances a lot. 
but in this particular swatch i haven't used them that much and so i was pretty happy with the way they looked in here especially like the way they matched the counters i thought was pretty nice in here i'm just picking out some clutter pieces and of course adding some different like usable kitchen items like um, a coffee pot a microwave and then just other things that are purely decorative, but I think it all works in here really nicely. And it feels fully decorated, but it's not like overly uh, decorated and cluttered like a lot of my builds are. I mean, that's definitely my favorite way to build in The Sims 4 is adding lots of details. But for these ones, it's not what I wanna do. And I'm actually just really pleasantly surprised at how much I like the minimal look to them. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree. But anyways, over here is going to be the downstairs bathroom. It's a pretty large bathroom. So it's a full bathroom with a, you know, sink, toilet, and bathtub. So it has everything that your Sims need. And it's where the downstairs bathroom was originally. It's just a different, um, layout of the bathroom decorations basically and then over here is going to be the living room and again it's exactly where the living room was originally too i just added different furniture of course and i used these couches and i'm actually really pleased with the way they looked in here i think they just like match the style of the build really nicely and pairing them with these green chairs i thought was actually a really just nice combination I don't know, I, let me know if you guys agree, but I thought it looked really good in here. And then I put these bookcases along the wall. I felt like these were more like uh, built-ins and it added some extra detail and clutter without adding like a lot of extra detail and clutter, if that makes any sense. And then of course a TV and a fireplace and I add a little plant here on the coffee table and I decided to fill in the slots here on the bookcase just to make them look less like identical basically because it can feel kind of repetitive having multiple bookcases placed next to each other with the exact same orientation of all of the books but having those few extra slots with different decorations kind of makes it different enough to where it doesn't feel as repetitive at least in my opinion let me know if you guys agree and then over here is just like an extra room at the front of the house so I decided to make it more of just like a music room or a study you could easily put like a computer in here if you would like to I decided to have the piano because there was a piano in here originally and yeah maybe one of the Caliente members is really good at the piano i don't think any of them have any skill in the piano actually i'm i don't know that for certain maybe they do but i feel like maybe that would be a fun skill for like nina to have and kind of like a surprising skill maybe when somebody first meets her they kind of just you know think that she's a bit spoiled maybe a bit snobby maybe even a bit like um, full of herself and then when they find out she's really good at the piano they're kind of taken back and a little bit surprised that she is good at the piano because maybe it's just like a surprising skill for her to have I don't know I, I like that idea so I think that could be kind of fun at least for like storytelling purposes and then here I'm moving on to the second floor so like I said I redid a lot of the second floor it's not entirely different the bedrooms are still in the same locations uh, but I did move the bathroom so Don Lothario's room is where the bathroom was originally and I decided to make a tiny little room well it's not tiny it's actually a pretty big bathroom but in front of the staircase and then of course I added the ensuite to the master bedroom so here's going to be the master bedroom it looks nothing like the original one the original one I think had like a very deep purple bed and maybe I should have kept with the original color scheme, but I just really wanted the master bedroom to basically match the rest of the house. Cause I feel like, you know, this is Katrina's home and she would have decorated the entire house the same as her master bedroom. So I really just wanted them to all flow together. And so that's why I did it that way. But of course you could add the deep purple bed if you would like to, but I don't know. I just felt like it was very out of place. So um, yeah, over here is going to be the ensuite bathroom. So it's a very large bathroom. And so there was a lot of space, but I think I filled it in pretty nicely and it didn't feel um, like empty or awkward or anything. And I love how it's open to the master bedroom. And I feel like it's a very caliente thing to have the bed like facing the bathroom directly. <laughs> Usually when I do bedrooms like this that are open to the master bedroom, I try to have the bed like facing a different direction. So it's not like staring directly at like the toilet or the shower or anything just to kind of create some illusion of privacy. But I, I felt like for this one, I like it facing directly towards the bathroom, especially the bathtub. So yeah, I feel like she, you know, they're all romantics, I believe. So it, it suits them in my mind. Um, but yeah, over here is going to be Nina's room. So, or yeah, Nina, their names to me, I swear, I get them so confused, <laughs> but, uh, this room was red originally. So I had 
decided to keep with the red color and I think it even had this exact same bed in here. Uh, the furniture was just in different uh, placements and in like a different arrangement in the room and I think there was some different furniture pieces but yeah I kind of struggled with picking out artwork to fit in these rooms and this build. I kind of feel like with base game I mean artwork even if you're using every single pack is a like a bit limited when it comes to decorating but for this particular build I felt like for their rooms I was kind of struggling a little bit I think I made it work but yeah over here it's going to be Nina's room so like I said originally I think it was blue well I know it was blue but I'm pretty sure it was her room and I decided to turn it pink instead but you could easily change all of these to blue like every single thing in here that I have pink has a blue swatch as well. So it would be easy um, to swap it out, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I like the pink for her because I feel like she's the youngest. I feel like she's a bit more innocent or at least perceived to be innocent. Maybe she's not as innocent as everybody thinks she is. I don't know. I feel like this this family would actually be pretty fun to play. <laughs> and so um, lots of drama basically. Uh, but yeah, over here is going to be Don Lothario's new room. So originally he had that like I don't know, porch room <laughs> that had like a single bed and it was just really kind of sad. And so he has a new and improved bedroom up here with a double bed and it's a fully decorated room. He has a bookcase in here, some artwork, a dresser, and I think it looks really nice. It's nothing too fancy. It's definitely very simply decorated, but of course that's been the entire build as well and the rest of these in my base game renovation series and the other base game builds throughout this whole week but yeah here I'm going to decorate the upstairs bathroom and then this is going to be it for the build and like I said it's the final day to my seven days of base game so I really appreciate you guys watching this whole week if you guys have a favorite one definitely let me know in the comments I think mine would probably be the Victorian one that I did in Willow Creek, the base game mansion. That one was pretty fun for me. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.
not gonna stress, not gonna make a mess.